Well, hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to class. Let me start by introducing myself. I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Thank you all for being here. Today's class, we're going to make two items. We're going to make some cloud bread, which I've never made before, but uh, one of our scholars sent me a new recipe I want to try. And um, I'm also going to make eggs benedict. Hello, Mona. Thank you for being here. Mona, the moderator, is present. I see Wally is here. You're welcome to come in and out of class as needed. Thank you so much for being present. Mona, let us know about your kids' channel so we can get you some support. I am a boy mom times two. They're both here, so anything could happen tonight. Uh, I've been on a health and wellness journey, maintaining a 77-pound weight loss. Uh, hey, Shafit, thank you for coming to class uh, with at least 25 more to go. Uh, and for me, I've done that by getting tested for food sensitivities. Um, that was a cheek swab and then some hair samples. So I have a list of foods on the fridge that I can have and a list of foods that I have to avoid. But I love to eat just like y'all. And I love to cook. So um, what we do here on my channel, we come up with recipes that are using substituted ingredients, but it's actually food that you would want to eat, food that you would want to make for the family. Since both of the boys are here tonight, you'll get to see their uh, thoughts on what I'm making. So I'm just going to relax and take my time, settle on in. Feel free to watch comfortably uh, anonymously, or if you want to drop something in the chat and let us know that you're present, I always love when you guys are here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So one of our scholars, uh, one of our scholars sent me a recipe for something called cloud bread, which I've never made before. It is a keto recipe. I'm not keto, but I do get inspiration from everywhere. And this is another two ingredient bread recipe. So we are going to be doing uh, eggs benedict tonight. Eggs benedict is a poached egg with Canadian bacon on an English muffin. So I'll serve it on an English muffin for the boys, but because I'm sensitive to gluten, I can't have an English muffin. So I thought this cloud bread would be something that I could use as a substitute for the eggs in the hollandaise sauce. So we're going to give it a try. Um, whether you're here live or watching the replay, whether you love to eat, whether you have health challenges like I used to be, pre-diabetic, elevated blood pressure, borderline cholesterol, all of that is normal now with no medication. So I'm so grateful. Um, whether you just need ideas and inspiration for uh, things to cook, uh, I love when you guys inbox me. Thank you, Lumiere, for coming to class. And let me know that you've tried some of the recipes and they actually taste good to you. Um, and I've actually learned that some of the scholars re-watch the video and use it to pause as needed when you're recreating some of the items. So I'm just so happy that we're building a community of those of us who love to eat and uh, want to eat healthy. What does Crystal Light say? Delicious food with a healthy twist. Okay, so I have a Facebook reel that I saved that I'm going to play for you guys because uh, I get a lot of inspiration from social media. And um, this is a, an egg and cream cheese. It's giving me the sense of like the Maggie cakes, uh, but I'm going to show you guys the recipe because I may have to play it a few times. It's just a 30 second reel, so I have to watch it a couple of times. All right, so let's see. Keto cloud bread is so good and only 0.2 net carbs per slice. So you're gonna take three eggs divided, put the egg whites into your mixing bowl with a little bit of cream of tartar, whip that up until you get stiff peaks, transfer it to another bowl, add the yolks back into the mixer with three tablespoons of softened cream cheese and a little bit of salt. Mix that together. You're going to fold those two together. Put them in the oven at 300 for 25 to 35 minutes until they're lightly brown. Enjoy. 
Okay, so that was a lot and it was pretty fast. Thank you so much, Mona. So I watched it several times and I took some screenshots. So I should start putting these recipes in the description so that you guys can help me if I get stumped. So if you see me looking down at my phone, I took a screenshots so I know what I need to do. All right, so the recipe calls for eggs. Let me get the eggs. Uh, start by putting my apron on. <laughs> So I see Mona has given me the googly eyes, so I don't know if that means you're excited about this recipe. I don't know if anybody's ever tried cloud bread or made cloud bread, so we're going to give it a try tonight and see if that can be a good bread substitute for me because you know those cauliflower thins that I do love and some of you all have tried have Parmesan inside and I'm not supposed to have cow dairy, so I'm going to keep trying until I find something that works. So let's see what we have. All right, the next ingredient, it says cream of tartar. I didn't even know what that is, and it's a little bit. I had to research. It's like under an eighth of a teaspoon, which is a pinch, but I did buy some cream of tartar. Um, what I've researched is that it's something that they put in desserts to kind of fluffen them up. Is fluffing a word? I don't know. But I did buy cream of tartar. Ah, so you've heard about it but never made it. Well, we're going to make it in tonight's class. All right, so I have whole eggs. If you notice in this recipe, when it says three eggs divided, that means you need to separate the egg whites from the egg yolk. So I'm going to do that by hand. There's lots of little gadgets you can do, or you can buy to do that. So I know some people like to use the substitutions. I don't think this would work with like egg beaters or the ones in the carton because you can't separate the eggs, egg whites from the egg yolks. Um, you could probably use some egg white in the carton, but then where are you going to get your yolks from? Likewise, I probably wouldn't use the just egg. So this one, could be vegetarian, but probably not vegan. <laughs> yes, if you guys are here, feel free to say hello. But I know some people that I meet tell me they watch all the time. And everybody is welcome in, in my class, whether or not you say hello in the chat or you're just here to observe and learn. So I ordered this from Kroger. So this is cream of tartar. It's like uh, about the size of like black pepper. So we'll see. So it calls for three tablespoons of cream cheese. Now y'all know I'm not a proper chef, I'm just a home cooker. But when I looked at this recipe, it says softened cream cheese, which just means you wanna take it out of the fridge for a little bit so that you can actually maneuver it in the mixer. If you take your cream cheese, or for me, goat's cheese, right out of the fridge, it might be harder to mix. So I did put this on the bar. This one right here, Chavri, this is a goat's milk cheese you guys see that I use. Um, I am sensitive to cow dairy, so milk and yogurt and half and half and all of that I've had to make substitutions for. And goat's cheese has been a lifesaver for me. This you can get at Publix. I buy in bulk online. Um, I've seen it at a few stores. This brand I really like because it has a very mild taste. If you're new to goat's cheese, goat's cheese is an acquired taste. It's got a little bit of a funk to it. To me, it's like a sour cream and blue cheese mix, but once you get used to it, to me it's fine. And then salt. All right, so we've got our ingredients, not very many ingredients at all. If this works as a bread substitute, I'm imagining so many things, y'all, sandwiches, grilled cheese, pizza crust, so we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna play it just one more time and then Your pause it if I can. bread is so good and only 0.2 net carbs per slice. So you're going to take three eggs divided, put the egg whites into your mixing bowl. 
Okay, three eggs divided in the mixing bowl. Hello, Ada. Thank you so much for coming to class. Thank you, Mona. This is my other um, Costa Rica souvenir. <laughs> I don't know if it even shows, but it's just a little t-shirt. It's nice to be able to just buy stuff from the gift shop, but thank you. I'm trying to wear more primary colors. You all seem to like that. So we need to get three eggs divided. So I need to get three eggs, separate the egg yolk from the egg white. All right, so I've got my three little containers here. This can be any glass dish. Um, I think these are, yeah, Pampered Chef measuring cups. Use what you have. Y'all know I'm not the food for these. All right, so I've got an egg. Now to separate egg yolk from egg white, what I'm gonna do, and hopefully it works, there's lots of different techniques. I'm going to crack the egg, and then I'm going to try and break it apart and pour the egg white carefully into one of these, and then hopefully just keep the egg yolk in the shell and then plop the egg yolk into the other one. So hopefully if this works, I'll have three egg yolks and three egg whites. So we got a nice crack. So I literally just peeled the top off with one hand. And what I have here is the egg white. Slowly I'm pouring. I am using my hand a little bit, trying to get as much egg white as I can without disturbing the yolk. Oh, you know what people do? They use the uh, egg shells. I want to get that big piece. All right. It's not perfect but we've got one egg yolk and one egg white. I'm gonna do that two more times. All right, so this time I've got it. I'm gonna try and carefully move it to the other side, get the egg white out. That's better. Using the shells is better. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Hold that. It didn't break the yolk though. So I'm literally just keeping the yolk in the shell. A little messy, but we got two. Two egg yolks and two egg whites. One more to go. So in case you're wondering, meringue is actually egg white. When you whip it up, whip it, whip it, you're gonna get these nice fluffy white peaks. So I'm literally just moving my yolk over side to side until I can get as much of the egg white slime off. I'm just being very delicate because I don't wanna break the yolks and I think we're good. Let me wash my hands and I'll show you guys what we have. Hello, Titanium. Thank you for coming to class. Hello, Ken. look at Ken. look at Condemnia from Cancun. Yes, and I thought of you and dressed accordingly. <laughs> Washing my hands. All right, I just accept it now. I'm not gonna fight it anymore. All right, a little bit of a mess on the counter but we've got three egg yolks for the most part and three egg whites. All right. I'm supposed to have helpers. Notice how nobody is here. See what happens when the food comes out. Hello, C. Miles, thank you for coming to class. I need to replace my paper towels.
Okay, gotta make sure I have my supplies. All right, so I'm gonna go back and let's see what she says. So you're gonna take three eggs divided, put the egg whites into your mixing bowl with a little bit of cream of tartar, whip that up until you get stiff peaks. Okay, a little cream of tartar and whip it until I have stiff peaks. So we're gonna whip these egg whites. I don't have a fancy KitchenAid mixer. I'm gonna use the old school hand mixer. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. Let's see, y'all, we're gonna do two recipes tonight. I've never made this before. We're doing Eggs Benedict, which is served on an English muffin, but I can't have an English muffin, so I'm trying this cloud bread recipe. Maybe one day I'll get a fancy KitchenAid mixer. Today is not that day, so I'm using the old school, whatever this is called. All right, so I'm gonna get a glass bowl so you guys can see. So this mixer actually goes with a white bowl, but I like to use the glass just so that you guys can see and I can see. I know y'all know con condemn you out there showing out, but you have earned it, sir. Please enjoy your vacation. And um, ooh, Titanium says you have extra apples going into the fried apples, covering it in coconut yogurt. That sounds amazing. Oh my gosh, let me know how you like the fried apples. If y'all watched Lead Attorney last night, and I am a student of Lead Attorney, he said he wants his still a little bit crisp and in the shell. So we'll have to do that. All right. So I don't know about this cream of tartar, but when I researched it, she said um, just a pinch, like not even an eighth of a teaspoon. An eighth of a teaspoon is half of a fourth, so I'm going to get a fourth. It's just a little white powder. I don't know what it does, but it is um, used a lot in desserts. Yes, we all need a vacation. Mona, take one, and Condemnia, enjoy your vacation for us. All right, so we've got a glass bowl the whites from three eggs that we just separated. And this is a quarter cup teaspoon measure, really small. You can see it's really small. So I'm gonna do like half of this. I didn't fill it all the way. So I'm back, I'm gonna add that in with the egg white. And we're gonna whip it. Yes, thank you channel sponsors, thank you scholars. I am your teacher, you all are class scholars. Um, the, uh, the live chat is the study hall, so feel free to pass notes, come in and out as needed, and we'll share with each other. So I'm gonna start this on the counter and see how we go.
Okay, I just unmuted so that you guys uh, didn't have to hear this hand mixer. If you can see, well, it's hard to see. I wouldn't call these stiff peaks. I'm mixing the egg whites with a little cream of tartar. This is how you make meringue uh, uh, with sweetener, but I'm making the cloud bread. So I'm gonna go back on mute, but let me see if I can show you guys. You can take the mixer up and what you want to see, I don't know if y'all can see, okay. So you see I had this little foam. Do you see how it's like sticking up there? It's actually not bad, but for me it's a little bit jiggly. Soft peaks, if I pull this out and you see how the uh, egg white is kind of like hanging down, it still has like some gravity to it. So these are soft peaks. So I'm going to continue to whip for a little bit more. When I pull this up and they stay standing up, those are stiff peaks. So we're going to go back on mute, but I'm going to be here mixing. I'll just give you guys some music. All right, y'all, I think we're good. So what's interesting to me, let me go ahead and unplug this. I'm just thinking. So I'm gonna have to scoop the egg white out of here. You can see, I know with the light, it's a little bit hard, but you see how it literally just stands up stiff. And if you remember, this was just the whites from three eggs, which wasn't even this container, wasn't even halfway full. Let me get a spatula. So what we've done is we've just whipped a lot of air into the egg whites. So I'm going to scrape them off of here because we're going to need to use this again. So if you like like the lemon meringue pie or any of those, um, you know, angel food cakes, any of those light and fluffy desserts, see how it's just like foam and it sticks. That's the stiffness that we want because if you remember, our egg whites started as just that slimy liquid, right? So I'm just scraping it off of here so we don't mess up our recipe. We get all of our egg white. And so all we have, ah, the white of three eggs and some cream of tartar, which I don't even know what that is, but they say they use it in desserts. All right, almost done here. 
All right, so pretty clean. I'll just hang that over the side of the sink. So to me, it has the consistency of like marshmallow fluff. I don't know. I know it's hard to see y'all. I'm sorry, but um, hopefully you can see. Ah, stabilize the egg whites. Thank you, C. Miles. All right, so you guys see what we have here. We have our three egg whites. Let's see what's next. I'm alive. Are you coming in here? Yes. I need you to have shoes on, please. Okay. Thank you. All right. Tartar, whip that up until you get stiff peaks. Transfer it to another bowl. Add the yolks back into the mixer with three tablespoons of softened cream cheese. And okay. So now we're going to set our egg whites off to the side. It said add the three egg yolks set into the mixer, but I don't have a KitchenAid mixer, so I'm just gonna get another clear bowl with, I think she said three tablespoons of cream cheese. Let me look at my screenshot. Yes, all right. I know this is overkill, but I don't want to mess it up. So we've got our three egg yolks, mostly. I separated those myself, and you see one kind of crack, so I'm glad I was able to get that separate. Can you please, uh, and, well, Alex is here. Hey, guys. I fell asleep. You fell asleep? Mm -hmm. Took a shower? Yep. Okay. Can you empty the trash and recycling for me and change the liners, and then you can come help? Sure. All right. Three tablespoons of cream cheese. If you can have cow dairy, then Philadelphia cream cheese or whatever you like. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I'm using the Chavri, the goat's milk cheese. So let me get three tablespoons. Move my phone. I had it out on the counter so that it would soften. It's got a little bit of water inside, but... You can see this is a soft, creamy. Uh, this is my cream cheese substitute because I can't have cow dairy. Washing my hands. All right, so this is one tablespoon. I know it's hard to see. Yes, Condemia, live it up. You have earned it. So it says three tablespoons of cream cheese. So I'm gonna go in to the cream cheese. If you've had it out, it should scoop up pretty easy. And we're gonna scrape against the side to level it. So one tablespoon. Uh, let me get another little spatula. All right, could you replace the liners, please? So one tablespoon of... Goat's cheese for me could be cream cheese for you. So we've got one. Trying to use the straight edge to level it. Spill some, but it's okay. Two. messy egg whites cream cheese but hopefully it'll all be good when it comes together and then when you have a heaping spoonful you can use the straight edge of your spice container or you know whatever you're using fill it up and then kind of all right three all right, be very careful. Oh. All right. So I'm just going to I know it looks kind of messy, but I'm literally just putting this into with the egg yolk. So three egg yolks and three tablespoons of cream che cream cheese for you, goat's cheese for me. So I'm just kind of putting it down into the egg yolk. All right. So let's cover this. 
I know. I love it. All right, and then I'm on the receiving end. This recipe just says salt. So I guess you salt it to taste, but let me play it one more time. Okay, are you ready to help? Mm -hmm. All right, so we are making cloud bread. I'm gonna play this recipe, you can watch along. I'm at the point where we're doing the egg, yolk, and salt. Oh, that's a screenshot. I wasn't actually on the video. <laughs> Mix that together. You're going to fold those two together. Put them in the oven at 300 for 25 to 35 minutes until they're lightly brown. Enjoy. We're going to do one Keto more. cloud bread is so good and only 0 0.2 net carbs per slice. So you're going to take three eggs divided. Put the egg whites into your mixing bowl with a little bit of cream of tartar. Whip that up until you get stiff peaks. Transfer it to another bowl. Add the yolks back into the mixer with three tablespoons of softened cream cheese and a little bit of salt. Mix that together. All right. A little bit of salt. So, think that's good? All how right. many breads are you making? I don't know. I've never made this recipe before, so we'll see how many loaves it makes. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the mixer on the egg yolks and the cream cheese, goat's cheese for me. All right. So can you hold the bowl still? I'm going to go in there and mix. So I'm plugging this up. Still got a little bit of egg white on it, but this is what I got. Do you want to get your apron on? You need help with it? It's hanging right there. All right. All right, so we've got our egg yolk with the um, salt and goat's cheese for me. And we've got our egg whites. All of this from three eggs. So now we're gonna fold. I'm gonna put the liquid into the meringue or do I put, you know what? I'll do the other way around because this bowl is bigger. You need help? All right. All right. I'm going to go to your waist. Oh, hold on. Let me I just undo. Oh, that's you don't have to do it. Just yeah, it just kind of got a little like. You don't have to do it. All right. You okay? Mm -hmm. You want me to just clip it? How about that? Yeah. All right. Technical difficulties. Is that comfortable? Yes. Okay. All right. You don't want to have too much loose stuff hanging around you. All right. Egg yolks with cream cheese or goat's cheese. Egg whites with cream of tartar. Mm -hmm. So can you hold... That looks like meringue. It does look like meringue. So I'm going to put this in the bowl. Can you lift it up so they can see what I'm doing? There you go. All right. So I'm going to put the egg white in here. And then we're going to fold. Let me see if I can get all of this in here. Scrape the sides. All right. I'm going to set it down just to scrape. <laughs> Careful. All right, I think we've got everything. So we've got the, most of our egg whites. So then she said fold it. So we're not gonna mix really. Oh yeah, Nana made that. Oh, titanium, your number one fan. Hold on, I'm gonna tie this. Is this okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm a grill master now. Yeah. Why don't we have a Your grill? dad is a grill master. Maybe he can teach you how. Why don't we have a grill? I had a grill, but I'm a cooker. I'm not a griller. Ask your dad. Um, titanium, I'll give you one guess. Who made that apron? 
So we are going to fold it. We're not going to stir vigor vigorously because we don't want to disturb the fluffy egg whites, hence the cloud bread. So I'm just going from the bottom and over. Do you want to try a little bit? Yeah, Careful. I don't want to mess it up. Okay, go around and over. Yet yeah, we want to mix the yellow and the white without smashing down the white. Good job. Let me unplug this. You want me to do the rest? Or you got it? I'll let you do that. I'm going to do this in my air fryer, so I'm going to get... Okay. I don't want to mess the food up. Okay. You don't want to mess the food up. All right. So I'm just trying to get pretty much homogenous. If you guys can see, I'll get in closer so you guys can see. But I just want to get all of the egg yolk and cream cheese disappear when I'm working. Ah, uh, thank you. He's displaying like a pro. I'll let him know. Y'all notice how they leave me? Wait till these plates start clanging. All right, so I'm done here. I'm going to show you guys what I have. It's still nice and fluffy. Hopefully, uh, okay, yeah, hopefully you can see. Okay, so you see it kind of looks like scrambled egg. Instagram, hopefully you can see. All right, so now if you saw her bread, it was just like little lumps, pockets of lumps. So, exactly. So I'm gonna do these in the air fryer. This is for the boys, they get nooks and crannies. <laughs> Mom is going to make her own cloud bread. Hey, Cigars with Mac, thank you for being in class. I'm gonna put some parchment paper down. Clank, clank, yeah, exactly. You know you know when those feet start coming, running through like wildebeest in here. All right, so I got this at the Dollar Tree, formerly $1, now what, 125. So this is just parchment paper. If you have the parchment paper on the roll, that's fine. She didn't say this, but I noticed it on the video, so I'm trying to do everything the way she did. Alex is home from boarding school. <laughs> Titanium. Is that what that is? There's more. Well, I'm not going to get rid of Okay. They have their promotion ceremony on Monday. And then, y'all, summer is upon us. All right. I can jump to the so the parchment paper is really good on uh, nonstick. It absorbs oil. I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but I'm going to line my tray. Y'all know I usually line with foil, but I'm going to put parchment paper on here. And let's see, for bread, she did the whole tray. I guess I could if I did the oven. I'll use a measuring cup. So I'm gonna scoop in here because I want them to try and be about the same size. All right. So you see it's kind of fluffed up like that. I'm going to smooth it down a little. Try and make muffin size or almost like pancake size. I'll have to do more than one. All right, I'm excited. So it's not symmetrical, but you guys can see what we have here, hopefully, a little bit. Okay, so she said, I don't know, what did she say? I'll just go ahead and make another tray. I think I can make four big ones so we can cook everything at the same time. So another sheet of parchment paper. 
or if you have the roll, it's fine. This is great for a baking sheet, but I'm using the air fryer, so I folded it in half, just putting it on the tray. I'm scooping up into my measuring cup. All right, I'll flatten them both at the same time. Almost done, so I'm gonna scrape up the rest. So I'll get four slices of cloud bread. Greedy gong gongs, you know. Notice how nobody is here. I'm just using the spatula to really get everything up off the sides. If y'all watch this on the replay and you're making it, feel free to go, you know, two times speed. Stop and pause, play, whatever you need, whatever you like. Scraping up everything. I like the, t the texture, it's nice and foamy, I can't wait. All right, so we've got that. I got pretty much all of it out and we'll do next to the other one. So I think she had a tray of like six. I'm gonna have two mama jamas. But remember, this is just, just like the Maggie cakes and the um, chaffle, just eggs and cheese. So let's try to smooth this out into like, I'm imagining like buttery flatbread. Once it cooks and cools, then I'll top it with some of my goat's butter. So I'm making myself a little, all right y'all can see okay see what we have and I'm over the crease of my parchment paper probably should have folded it the other way all right I think it was 30 minutes at um 300 but a bit of salt mix that together you're gonna fold those two together put them in the oven at 300 for 25 to 35 minutes until they're lightly brown enjoy okay Keto cloud bread. so we're gonna put these in the air fryer at 300, of course, I'll keep an eye on them. So I have two trays, two big ones. I think she had six on hers. Mine are pretty big, so I have four. All right, so let's go ahead and put these in. I didn't preheat or anything. Um, probably about halfway through, I'll rearrange them to move them closer to the heat. for 30 minutes. I'm going to clean up, put everything in the dishwasher. We'll keep an eye on it and see. She said take it out when it's like lightly brown. So I'm very excited. Very excited. All right. So now we're going to, while those are cooking, we're going to move to our Eggs Benedict. Y'all remember being kids and licking the batter off of these? Or was that just us when mom's making a cake? Or frosting, you know what I mean. 
else. Or maybe batter, but you know, that's raw eggs. Cream cheese. Hmm. Goat's cheese. All right. Wash my hands, put everything away. Oh, forgot one. I don't rinse my disposal. My dishwasher has a disposal built in, so I skip that step. I grew up washing dishes by hand, y'all already know. So I remember thinking to myself, when I have a house that has a dishwasher, I'm going to use it. All right, so putting our tools away. That was fun. All right, so let's see how that turns out. Let me clean the counter as always, just using the brandless multi-surface. Links are in the description. If you need any, use what you have. Just clean as you go. Again, you notice how nobody is here. Yes, I do have a cash app. Thank you. Completely optional. But if you want to support the channel, we're on our way, y'all. Um... Last I checked, it was like 820 subscribers. I cannot believe it. Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only three months old. And so I'm just so happy that you all are here. But I do have a cash app. If you want to support your channel sponsor for life, let me wash my hands. We're on the road to $9.99 because my mom, you all know her as Principal Nana, says she will subscribe, but she wants to be number 1,000. So I have to do the heavy lifting, and we're going to get there. And I'm telling y'all, when we get to 900, we're going to be on Nana Watch. So keep your eyes peeled. Okay, so this is the recipe that I'm using. I just Googled it, and I looked to make sure I had all of the ingredients. I'll see where it came from if anybody's interested. But uh, we had a scholar ask for... Um, Eggs Benedict. I've never made it, so I love the challenge of trying new things. Hello, Invest BTC. Thank you for being here. I'm at 827. Y'all are so amazing. Thank you so much for being here, for liking. If you love what I'm doing, please subscribe. I try to post twice a day. Um, I eat twice a day, so I try to live stream. I may have a little confessional. Remind me. I'll just tell you now. Um, today wasn't the best day. I had some things planned. It didn't happen, and so if you remember that Mother's Day box that I got, there was some quiche in there in the crust. I ended up eating that and two of my cauliflower chicken tenders. So not horrible, but I just kind of ate something, you know, quickly. I wouldn't even count it as a cheat day, but I'm here. So if you like being notified when I go live, turn on your notifications. Okay, so this is, so I'll give you the story. Eggs Benedict is my favorite breakfast menu item, and it's super easy to make from home. We'll see about that. It starts with a toasted English muffin, topped with a slice or two of Canadian bacon. Let's get that. So much stuff in there. I saw smoked salmon. Maybe we'll do another like salmon pinwheel or bagel this weekend. Let's see how this cloud bread turns out. We may have a lot of options. <sighs> Reluctantly, I'm going to share, um, but this Canadian bacon, um, if you guys weren't here last week, Saturday, I received a beautiful um, Mother's Day like brunch set. It had quiche. It had English muffins, it had Canadian bacon, a special blackberry jam, a glass, a bottle of wine, um, 
and I didn't eat it all, so I'm nibbling a little bit, celebrating Mother's Day. But I had some Canadian bacon left, so that's what's going on the English muffins today. A poached egg, got the egg, and smothered in traditional eggs benedict sauce called hollandaise sauce. So I don't know if y'all have made this before, I never have, but this would be a beautiful, if it turns out nice, this would be a beautiful, like, whether it's Mother's Day or Sunday brunch or nice, elegant presentation. So we'll see how I do. All right, let me check on our cloud bread. It's still going back in there. I don't know if you all can, can see, but see my air fryer, because it has the fan, it's kind of curled up on itself. That's the thing I probably should have put a tray over top, but I don't know if y'all can see it's starting to get a little bit of character and I'm just touching. We'll see, it's going back in. So it said 25 to 30 minutes, so you need to cook it low and slow. Okay, four slices Canadian bacon, a splash of vinegar. I have so many vinegars. I think this came in a giveaway box, but it looks fancy. Bianca sweet white, sweet white vinegar. Uh, tip, I was told, and I've done it when I'm out, you can use vinegar in your dishwasher in that rinse a dispenser to get your glasses and everything nice and sparkly if you don't have the jet dry. Hey, Bill, thank you for being here. Thank you for everything. All right, so we've got that. English muffins, eggs, Canadian bacon, and vinegar got it that's the ingredients so the hollandaise sauce is going to be the um, more difficult one but it's okay we can do it four tablespoons butter y'all already know if you can have regular butter please have some for me I'm sensitive to cow dairy so this is what I use the Delamere's goat's butter available at Whole Foods links are in the description it's just like butter cooks like butter tastes like butter y'all see me use it all the time lifesaver for me gives you that butter experience without cow dairy four egg yolks again with the egg yolks that's a lot of work <laughs> We may have to stop and get a beverage. Have y'all ever wondered when you buy egg whites in the carton, what do they do with the yolks? Why don't they sell egg yolks in a carton? I don't know. But I'll be cracking my yolks again. Two teaspoons of lemon juice or lime juice. So I have fresh lemon. I'm sure you could use the one in the container, but I will go with the fresh. They have disappeared. Um, I have a fresh lemon, so we'll juice this and see if we get two tablespoons. If not, then I'll have more. One tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Another substitution for me. Y'all have seen me use this before. Silk has a heavy whipping cream. This one is made from coconut milk. Lifesaver if you want to use it for desserts or whatever. It whips up just like the egg whites, gets nice and creamy, comes as a liquid. So this is my substitute. If you can have dairy, just regular old uh, heavy whipping cream is good. And then salt and pepper. All right. So the recipe starts with the hollandaise sauce. So it says melt the butter. I was hoping somebody would read to me. Yes, I know, silk is great, right? 
So for the hollandaise sauce, melt the butter in a small saucepan. Let me read the whole thing first so I know what I gotta do. In a separate small bowl, beat the egg yolks. Mix in the lemon juice, whipping cream, salt, and pepper. All right, so let's start with our, I got another container of eggs. Doing a lot of egg cracking. But eggs are great protein, a lot of good stuff. I'm thirsty. I think I'll make a mango tea really quick. Beverage break, getting water. All right, just filling the curing. Y'all have seen me do this before. Oh, and I've got some lemon. That'll be nice. Uh, Lipton uh, Keurig pods. You brew hot over ice. You can see right here. So you're going to get the unsweetened tea. That's going to go inside the Keurig. And then I just had this little pitcher. I like having little containers just for me. And I'm going to fill this with ice. sweet teas are so overpriced you can make this for pennies about 50 cents when you buy the case all right so we have our ice inside our pitcher and you know me and my alkaline drops nana yours should have arrived today if you're watching um, my test results said i'm more acidic so i need more alkaline water and it turns regular tap into alkaline water for me it stays to hydrate me before i was just drinking water drinking water running right through me. All right, so I'm going to put the Keurig in the machine, the pot in the Keurig, and then brew it hot over ice. All right, so while that's making, let's separate our eggs. Let's get another container. Egg yolk, egg white. Ah, tea is done. Let's check our bread one more time. Slightly brown. I don't know if y'all can see. I know my light. You see how it's starting to get that brown on it? I'm just touching the surface. It's nice and like, ooh, crispy. I'm going to switch places. I'm going to move this to the bottom and um, bring the other one at the top. <laughs> Just for jingle, absolutely. Hello, orange soda. Ah, thank you for being here. Okay, so just as a comparison, you guys can see the one that was at the bottom. Oh, hopefully you can see the one that was at the bottom doesn't, didn't cook as fast, so I'm gonna switch the position. The air fryer heat source is at the top, so I'm about halfway through the cooking. I'm just going to switch. All right, so we have our tea, our Lipton tea brewed over ice. Notice it was unsweet. They do sell the sweetened version, but I get everything unsweet and I sweeten myself. Y'all know that I'm talking about my skinny syrups. Love these. Uh, this came from TJ Maxx. They have all the flavors. TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls. Go to the back where they have the food. Um, zero calories, zero sugar. So I have an empty glass. 
I like everything light and sweet. Do it to your taste. Guilt-free, so I have my mango syrup. Then I'm pouring my unsweet tea over it. Y'all know if you want to get fancy, put a lemon on the side. I'm working tonight, so I'm just going to put a straw in it and drink it. Yes, what are y'all doing this weekend? Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, never ends. Ah, very good. Mango iced tea, zero calories, zero sugar. That's all that I do. I'll make a picture of this and just drink on it all day during the day. I've got cranberry, I've got coconut, I've got mango, vanilla. Experiment. All right. So while our cloud bread English muffins are cooking for me, we're going to separate our eggs again because this recipe calls for uh, four egg yolks for the hollandaise sauce, which is the hardest part, right? Okay, so let's see if my technique still works. I'm taking an egg, I'm cracking it, and then I'm separating the two parts kind of like this, and I'm kind of playing that cup game where I'm moving the uh, yolk from side to side without breaking it over this glass container so the egg white can kind of drip down. Using the bigger bowl. You can see I'm trying to keep the yolk out of there. All right. Perfect. One egg yolk. I need four. So again, one white, one yolk. See, I cracked the yolk, but I did it after I separated the white. All right. Just be careful. This just takes a little bit of time. It's not hard, it's just a little tricky. You know, when they do those cooking shows and they're like, vroom, 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 vroom. Okay, they don't make that sound effect, but y'all know what I mean. But you guys have been so wonderful, you know, letting me know that you try these recipes and you feel like, you know, you could be a chef too. Absolutely, y'all know I'm just a home cooker. So number two, and two egg whites, two more. It is my happy place, you know, and the thing about me, I'll try anything. If it doesn't work out, I'll still eat it, but um, I do like to experiment. And don't worry, everything is coming because you do need a cookbook. Three yolks. But this is just me seeing stuff and saying, I can do that. Or I think I can do that. Hello, Chef MJ, MDJ. 88, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to class. Y'all, we got a real chef watching. Let me act like I know what I'm doing. I'm separating my egg yolks. <laughs> I'm just using the little eggshells to move it side to side over the bowl. All right, not bad. Good job, Maggie. So we have four egg yolks and four egg whites. Just checking to make sure no shells and um, no yolk broken here. All right, let me wash my hands. Ah, Monique, you had the cauliflower chicken today. Let me see what you had. I love it when you guys try this stuff. Ah, let's see. Monique says, welcome to class. Uh, you had the cauliflower breaded chicken and waffles. It was so good today. Oh, yummy. Bill uh, had that too and used strawberries instead of raspberries. How was it with the strawberries, with the syrup, and did you do powdered sweetener and all of that? Leanne, you're not late. You're never late to my class. We're making your recipe. So in case anybody's hopping on, Leanne asked for Eggs Benedict. I've never made them before, but I love the challenge. So I found a recipe online, Eggs Benedict with homemade hollandaise sauce. So. Let me check on our cloud bread because the air fryer, since it's small, it does cook faster. So 
So I'm making my own English muffins. I'm gonna let, leave them in here. I'm just touching, you know, Nana said use all your senses to cook. So this is gonna be my English muffin. So the cloud bread is just eggs and cream cheese. The boys are actually going to get real English muffins with nooks and crannies. Focus, Maggie. Hello. Oh, you made the honey butter too? Monique! Oh my gosh, my scholars make me so proud. Y'all, I love it when you tell me that you try this stuff and that it's good to you because, you know, my palate has completely changed on this health and wellness journey. You know, I've completely changed the way that I eat and I snack. So I feel like this stuff tastes good. So when you all make it and you say that it tastes good, it just makes my day. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. In a separate bowl, beat the egg yolks. So I have this little mini whisk. I think it came from a little lemonade kit. Four egg yolks. I just didn't want to do it too hard and have it come out of the side. So nice and creamy. It looks like a custard almost. All right, so just the egg yolks. Mix in lemon juice whipping cream, salt, and pepper. All right, so lemon juice. It said two teaspoons of lemon juice. So I have a whole lemon here. I'm gonna juice it. I should be able to get two teaspoons, right? I'm just rolling it on the counter to kind of get it, you know, nice and juicy. Let's get our lemon juicer. can do it by hand, but y'all know I like my gadgets. All right. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. So I'm just cutting my lemon in half. So I have a nice <laughs> juicy lemon. Okay, I was trying to see if that measures teaspoons. I'll just juice it into a container and then scoop out teaspoons. I know this is overkill, but that's what I have. All right, so if you have the lemon squeezer, Walmart, cut your lemon in half and then you put it open side down where the holes are so it catches the seeds. And then if my hands are strong enough, if I had a helper, they would be helping me. So we've got half. I don't toss this. You know where I'm going to put it? Since I just made some. My unsweet mango tea is now mango lemon tea. How about that? All right. And then the other half. So I did get a couple seeds in there, but that's okay. All right, so we'll set that out of the way. Um, if it's winter time, you can use the lemon and hot tea. It's good. All right, so we've got some fresh lemon juice. Now I'm sure if you have the poor stuff, use what you have. And it says two teaspoons lemon juice or lime juice. I had lemons. So this is a teaspoon. So let's see if I can get in here without the seed. Perfect. So I've got my lemon juice, one teaspoon into the egg yolk. My little whisk fell out. Let's see if I can get one more without any seed. All right. Sorry, didn't mean to splash you. Two teaspoons of lemon juice into the egg yolk, and then heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon. All 
All right, so we have our tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. If you can have dairy, have the dairy. I'm gonna move my egg whites over here. We'll come up with something to do with those later. I don't know, omelet maybe, maybe tomorrow. Ooh, the Florentine omelet with tomato and spinach, like an egg white omelet. That would be pretty, like just white, yellow, and um, red. No, white, red, and green. That'd be pretty. All right, so I'm using the silk non-dairy. You can have heavy whipping cream, please have some for me. I am not the food police. I say use what you have. One tablespoon. So it's nice and creamy and white, just like cream, but it's coconut cream, not cow dairy. So we're adding this to the um, egg yolks and the lemon. Just mixing, ooh, nice little custardy swirl thing going on. Salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so let's just put salt. And pepper. All right. So just salt and pepper. Now I'm going to mix it up. Stir it up. Little darling. Okay. Just me. All right. So. So this is done. Now all I've got to do is melt the butter. I wanted to go ahead and focus on this because this is what's making me nervous. But, um, okay. So what it says is, <laughs> add, a small spoon add a small spoonful of the hot melted butter. That sounds good, I'll take it. Of the hot melted butter to the egg mixture and stir well. So I'm gonna put butter in with these eggs. So let's clean up. We're gonna check our cloud bread. Putting everything away. We're gonna check on our bread. As y'all can see, I never set it and forget anything. Nana said, when you're in the kitchen, you're in the kitchen. So my mom said, you don't just be, you know, doing other stuff. That's how you burn stuff and mess it up. We've all been there. We all start somewhere. Let's check our bread. Ooh, I think this is good. I don't know if y'all can see, see how it's gotten like that nice golden brown. So I'm just going to let this sit out and cool. This one is a little bit lighter brown, but I think it's okay. Um, I'll put it in for like one more minute. The recipe said 25 to 35 minutes and we're at 24 minutes. Because I'm using the air fryer, which is smaller, it heats up a smaller space faster, so you may need to adjust your time. Um, if you're using the oven, you may need to do it for 30 minutes, but everybody's kitchen is different. Thank you, Miles. Cloud bread looks good. Let me know, have you made it before? I've never made it before. This is gonna be my substitute. Leanne sent me both of these recipes, y'all. The cloud bread and the, no. Cloud bread she sent me and asked for um, eggs benedict. So our scholar Leanne is on feature today. All right, let's get this butter melted. I'm just clearing my workspace. We'll go ahead and turn off the bread. All right. I'm gonna see if I can do it here. Y'all, yeah. Okay, 
completely optional, but I did get this duck's top. It's just a glass cooktop so that I can be here with y'all. It's just me and my iPad. I don't have any fancy equipment, but it keeps me from going back and forth to the stove. I will have to, maybe I'll have to poach the egg over there. I love this little cooktop. A couple things about it. Um, it doesn't work on all cookware. It works on cast iron, which I'm going to have to use, and stainless. It does not work on copper or nonstick. And I'm going to continue to say this. You notice there are no boys around. All right. So our cloud bread, I'm just going to let it sit and cool. So it says four tablespoons of butter. Yes, yeah, stainless. You see, y'all, sometimes I get, it's a lot, but it's a labor of love for me. <laughs> All right, melt the butter in a small saucepan. Let's see if it'll work on that stainless saucepan. I don't know. Small saucepan. If it doesn't work, it gives you an error and it starts beeping. And I was like, what's wrong with this thing? I didn't read the manual. Yes, y'all, I have been abandoned. Wait until you hear their big hooves coming down when the food is done. And I know y'all can hear me. My home has intercoms. Y'all remember that last time Alex came down magically when the food was ready and he said, I totally wasn't listening on the intercom. I'm no dummy. I just look like one. I'm sorry. Okay. Four tablespoons of butter. So for me... I'm just going to go ahead. I have a little piece hanging off, so we're just going to put some butter in there. Um, if you can have cow dairy, have regular butter. Goat's butter for me. Don't be a lurker. Hit the life. Yes, the hooves. I got two almost teenage boys. One of them is a swimmer. All I do is cook. Okay. I'm eyeballing it. You know, one thing about this goat's butter, it doesn't have the markings on there. You know, like when you buy the butter stick and it has the tablespoon markings, this doesn't. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. A nice pat. So a pat is like a tablespoon. So this is pretty big. So that looks like four. All right. I should have tested to see. I'm gonna plug this up. And turn it on stainless all right I'm gonna keep it on and keep an eye on it so I'm just melting butter butter can go from solid to liquid to foaming to melting to no foaming to sizzling to burnt pretty quickly that's great if you're making TLA's fried apples and you want that nice caramelization but I'm trying to just stick with melted butter here um, I was going to say something. I can't remember. I'll leave the butter out for my cloud bread. For the boys, they're going to get regular butter on their nooks and crannies. Yes, hooves. Hooves. Ooh, okay. Oh, what I was going to say. So you can see it's already starting to sizzle. Let me turn it down. One thing about this cooktop, so it goes from zero to 10 and it starts at five. So when you turn it on, it's already on medium. Unlike the stove that you go from zero to whatever. So I'm keeping an eye on the butter. Melt the butter in a small saucepan. I'm doing that. Okay. In a separate bowl, beat the egg yolks. We did that. Mix in lemon juice, whipping cream, salt and pepper. So we did that. I think I need a bigger container. I don't want to mess anything up. Got a little lemon juice yet left, but I'll get another container. Oh, butter, butter. Hold on. See what happens? It gets brown really fast. All right. 
Now this is some technique I've never done before, but it shouldn't be too hard. All right. Unplug this. All right, so I'm just moving my egg yolks into a bigger bowl so I don't lose anything. Get a little spatula and get all of it because I'm greedy. So again, it's egg yolks, heavy whipping cream if you can have it. I'm using dairy-free, salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Add a small spoonful of the hot melted butter, which browned on me, but let me just read it to you. Add a small spoonful of the hot melted butter into the egg mixture and stir well. Repeat this process adding a spoonful at a time of the hot butter to the egg mixture. You want to do it slowly because if I just poured all that butter in here, it would scramble and curdle the eggs. So I'm not going to use a spoon, but I'm going to do a spoonful and then mix. Ooh, it's getting nice and silky. Aw, oh, thank you. Yes, I'm on all social media. And just repeat adding a spoonful at a time. Hot butter, probably not smart over your hand. Do this with supervision for kids. So we wanna keep the eggs at this nice temperature. A little bit of butter and stir. I'm looking, I don't want my eggs to get scrambled. I want them to still have that nice creamy I'm eyeballing a spoonful, but you want to keep the temperature not hot, not lava hot. What be. happened to you? Where are your shoes? You don't come in the kitchen barefoot. I know I smelled something. Of course you smelled something. Go put some shoes on. It says add the butter slowly, a spoonful at a time, temper the eggs, ensure they don't curdle. We don't want them to scramble. All right. Hello, would you need any help? Yes, I need help. Come on this side. You're gonna hold this bowl. Can you stir eggs while I put butter? Maybe. Stir them in plate dips, right? Yes. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot butter in. That looks like caramel. All right. I'm gonna move on to the next one while he stirs. Slowly, don't splatter, just slow, there we go. All right, just putting a little butter at a time. Once the butter has been incorporated, so we've still got some melted butter in here. Ah, once the butter has been incorporated, pour the mixture back into this saucepan. Cook on low heat, stirring for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, I do one step at a time. Y'all know I'm not a real chef. I've never made this before, but when you see those pictures, you're going to be like, ooh. Almost done. I can probably pour a little bit more. Couple more. Doing a good job. My arm's hurting. Your arm hurts? Not my fault. Don't, you don't have to stir fast, just move it around. Yeah, you can stir slow. No, I'm not trying to have like clumps of butter. In exactly, this is the last one going in. All yeah. right, very good. All right, so. We got our butter in our eggs. Hold on. Okay, you can stop stirring. All right, once the butter has been incorporated, pour the mixture back into the saucepan. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we did good. If you guys can see, it's still eggs and butter. It's not curdled or scrambled. Can you hold the saucepan? You got it well? 
We got our nice silky sauce. Let me get the, that looks like butter, but like spatula. So we got lemon juice, egg yolks, butter, cream, There's a pot salt and pe pepper. No, it's not hot. You can set it down. Okay. Whew. Nice induction cook chop, which we didn't do an unboxing. Cook Washington. on low heat, stirring for 20 to 30 seconds. All right, hold on one second, please. Don't press any buttons. I just want to wipe this down. Don't want to get any juices. Yeah. All right. Now, low heat. Low heat. Starting 20 seconds. Turn it on, please, and go down to like two. Okay. So stirring every 20 seconds. Stirring things. constantly, yes. Constantly. Your arm hurts, or can you do it? I got my left hand. You have another hand? Okay. So I think what we're doing here, mm -hmm. hi, yes, Miss Globes girl, we're working on hollandaise sauce. Welcome to class. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think what we're doing is probably just cooking to make sure we don't have raw eggs. We have that butter sauce. All right. For 20 to 30 seconds, that's enough. It says remove from heat and set aside. It will thicken as it cools. Okay, so our hollandaise sauce, can I see? So I don't know if you guys can see, we've got this nice buttery sauce. We cooked it for just a little bit. Oh, it's already starting to thicken. Can I do say stir it up? All right, it will thicken as it cools. So we're gonna set this aside. All right. All that's left is to poach the eggs and toast their muffins. Just clean it up, clean as you go. All right, where were we? Okay. We're gonna let the sauce thicken. Now to poach the eggs. Fill a medium sized pot with about three inches of water. Can you get me the other pot, please? The one with the handle, just like this one? Yep. This one? Yes, please. All right. Can you put three inches of water in there, please? I'm going to eyeball it. Yep. Three inches. Excellent. One, two, three. All right. That's good. Can you put it on the cooktop? No, that's fine. Just close the cabinets, please. Bring the water to a boil. So I'm going to turn this on and put it on 10. Bring the water to a boil and then reduce heat until it reaches a simmer. So a boil, obviously you want to see a lot of movement, right? You want to see the bubbles bubbling up and kind of rolling around a lot of movement in the water. A simmer on the other hand is much softer, just little like foamy uh, bubbles, not like bursting. They'll still pop a little bit, but that's the difference between a simmer and a boil. All right, so we need our water to boil. While this is happening, I'm gonna go ahead and get their English muffins in the air fryer and just go ahead and pan fry that Canadian bacon. It doesn't say to do that, but y'all know we need to do that. So let me wash my hands. So this recipe calls for, oh, um, Be Eggs Benedict is like an open face sandwich. So this is what we're making. So it calls for two English muffins. So we got the good stuff for them, just regular old English muffins with all that goodness and gluten inside. 
Do you all put the butter on after? Yes, because you want it to get the nooks and crannies and then you put the butter on after, or do you all butter it before you toast it? So let me know in the chat, butter before, butter after. I'm looking at my pot. The water's starting to dance around. Once again, I am a bandit. I'm lining. This tray with foil any crumbs come off the English muffins you butter after okay you like the crunchy nooks and crannies exactly y'all this is when I get excited the texture right so we've got our Thomas's English muffins all right so those will be ready to toast I'm not great at doing multiple things at once but I'm prepping and then I'm gonna put the Canadian bacon in like a non-stick. So this was my substitute, that's my cloud bread. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Ah, we got a boil, ah! Water's boiling, then it said, bring it down to a simmer. You hear that pot hopping? I'm gonna put it on five. We've got a rolling boil. Still boiling. Woo! Splattering. Would you like me to remove the lid? Thank you. I get a nice facial. Yes. Steam my glasses. Okay, so it wants a simmer that says you should see. Can you do the reading? What does this one say? This one? Yeah. Fill a medium-sized pot with about three inches of water. We've done that. Yep. Bring the water to a boil and then reduce heat until it reaches a simmer. Okay. You should see small bubbles coming to the surface but not rolling. Okay, so would you say this is a rolling boil? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to go down on the temperature. We're going to go down to, let's do one. And I'm going to start uh, pan frying well, well, the... Well. Let's put it on two. Ah. There we go. There two. we go. Two or one? Two? All right. It looks like, yep. Yep. Because um, induction, it turns on and off. Ah, you're telling me about induction. All right. At dad's house, they have like, you know like you have a gas stove? Yeah. They've got an electromagnetic stove, which is induction. It's like this huge cooktop, about like five areas, you can put pots and pans. And then um, you can't use copper because mm -hmm. same thing as it. And um, what was I going to say? Yeah. On induction heating, it turns off and on at different um, paces or intervals so that um, power to it actually. Well, I don't know about this one. Yeah, same thing. Great. The power to it doesn't actually like change when you turn the heat up, it just over longer intervals. Absolutely. Like if you change it up to a seven, say it turns on for seven seconds, turns off for two. If it's on two, say it turns on for two seconds, turns off for two. Thank you. All right. So our water is, uh, yes, Alex is very smart. He wants to be a pilot. So he's telling me about how this induction works. Okay. Now it says, oh, what does number two say? Add a little splash of vinegar. I don't need the accent. This is optional, but it helps the egg white to stay together once it's in the water. Okay, yes, so a splash of vinegar to the simmering water. So I'm just using what I have. This oh, it's yeah. expensive. It does look expensive. So a splash, let's say. Splash. Splash, okay. It actually splash. It actually splashed. So therefore, it's splash. All right, so now keep going. Crack one egg into a small cup. You, you, I use a measuring cup. Lower the egg into the simmering water, gently easing it out of the cup. 
Okay, do you want to do this part or you want me to do it? I'll do it. Okay, so we're going to crack an egg into a measuring cup and then lower the measuring cup. And then lower the measuring cup into the water. All right. Put that on the counter. Crack into the measuring cup. However you want to do it. Just... Stronger. The brown ones are stronger, yeah. Mm. All right. Woo. Have you guys ever, like, noticed, like, if you're being recorded or on stage, like, you practice, like, a speech or something. You practice a speech or something, and, like, you need on stage, you... It's gone. Like, every time I'm not on camera, I can crack an egg perfectly. Like, straight around and then just peel it off the door. I failed to crack this egg. But you did a great job. But I cracked it. So we have our egg in the measuring cup. What does it say? Do you want me to read and you do? Or I do and you read? I want to lower the egg into the simmering water, gently easing it out of the cup. Okay. So, it says... Lower the egg into the simmering water. Can you? Can you do this? I'll do it. All right. So we've got a pot of simmering water. We're going to lower this in here. You don't want to just splash. You want to gently, let me put it back on the cooktop. Let it simmer. It's complaining about how there's no pot there. I know. Lower it in. <gasps> It's like flowering. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna Cook this the egg thing. in simmering water for three to five minutes. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. No, we're not sponsored. We're trying to get there. I have a nonstick. While our egg is cooking, I've got some leftover Mother's Day Canadian bacon. I'm going to put a little bit of oil. I don't want my bacon to stick, so I just put a little bit of oil and I'm moving it in here. So Canadian bacon, kind of like ham. I'm just gonna place it in here cold and then go put it on the... So four pieces of Canadian bacon. Just gonna go put that on the stove, let it start warming up. Toast the bread. Our egg is still cooking. Gently. Remove the poached egg with a slotted spoon. Okay. I'm just trying to think how to store the egg. You know what? I could have done more than one, but. I want it to have as much space. What do you all do when you poach your eggs? Like, what do you put them on? I guess a paper plate to dry, a paper towel, right? All right, we got a couple more minutes on our timer. Egg is doing well. English muffins are toasting. Hello, Just Love Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Once that comes out, we got the hollandaise sauce. We're ready to assemble as soon as everything's done. Toast the English muffin. Got it. It doesn't say this, but we're going to butter it, right? So we can get the um, 
nooks and crannies action going. All right, egg is poaching nicely. Our Canadian bacon is sizzling up. I want it to get a nice little crispy brown. So we got the egg, we got the muffin. You place a paper towel under the slotted implement to dry them and set them on the muffins. Okay. So I've got a slotted spoon, paper towel. So I'm gonna get it out of the water and put it here and then it'll go on the muffin. Our Canadian bacon is cooking up. Yes. Mm -hmm. I get nervous. We got 17 more seconds. It's just jiggling a little bit in the water. Go ahead. Did you know if you electrocute water, you can separate it into hydrogen and oxygen? No. Don't try that on me. Timer is done. Timer's done? Yay. Yeah. Let's just stop. Let's stop. Okay. So I turned the bacon. It's not brown yet. I don't know how brown y'all go, but let's get our poached egg. No, that's kind of hard to see, but we got a nice poached egg, so I'll just sit it here. I'm going to get the rest of the egg white up and we're going to do four eggs. Four yes. I'll crack another one. Yes, crack another one in there. I know it's kind of hard to see. Looks good. Egg hashtag crack. You got it in there? Okay. Do I lower it into the boiling or steaming pot? Let me check our muffin. You think you can do it carefully? Yes. Okay. I'm y'all's entertainment if I fail. Canadian bacon. I think it's good. Do y'all go a little darker or no? You got it? Yep. Excellent. All right. Yay, I did something. Yes, you did. All right, so egg number two is in there. We're going to get a little bit darker on the Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon. Let this simmer. We got our poached egg. All right, you ready? Do you want me to toast your English muffin? Yes, please. So butter and ketchup makes everything good. Real butter for them. I'm going to give y'all a quiz. Y'all, if you all can name one thing that ketchup doesn't go on, I can, um, y'all can tell me what to do. Let's just say that. All right, so we got a nice little crisp on our bacon. All right. Do y'all poach one egg at a time, or do you poach multiple in there. I just feel like, you know, the way that it spreads out, I feel like it needs the whole pot. Did you set the timer for four minutes? That's okay. I'm busy giving them a quiz. Jess says she's got nothing. Oh, he's quizzing you. I agree. You're an anti-ketchup? Ha! Not everybody eats ketchup, Alex. Yeah. Cake. Does meatloaf count as cake? Meatloaf is not cake, no. Oh, it's meat cake. Egg number two is simmering. Yeah, what kind of cake? You've never poached an egg before. Oh, y'all haven't poached eggs before? It's very delicate. This is a very delicate recipe, but I think it's going to be nice. Watch out, babe. So we've got some nice crusting on our English muffin. For my brain timer, I think the poached egg is done. Okay, one second. 
Let's go ahead and put this down. We'll separate it in a second. Oh, only fresh tomatoes for you. All right. Now the butter in the nooks and crannies. I'm surprised y'all don't eat ketchup. I eat ketchup on almost everything I can. Some of us have a little bit more sophisticated palate. Well, I'm sophisticated too when I want to be. So we're gonna let this butter melt down. I think the poached egg is done. Okay. I'm gonna just spread this. See, my mom said she's gonna, uh, uh, when I got in the car, I was thinking what would make me. Oh yeah, tell them what you were thinking oh, about. Oh, is was sophisticated, ma'am. Yes, it's got all the ingredients. I'm all right. corn syrup and all those things. All right. But you can get no sugar out of it. Let's see how your other poached egg is doing. I'm just using the spoon to tap the yolk. It feels pretty solid. If, I don't know if y'all like runny eggs or whatever. And I'm just going to actually, do you like a little bit runny or a little bit, a little bit harder? Okay. Let's give it just a little bit more in the bath. We got our butter melting. We'll put it in here just Cream for a cake. Second. 20 jumping jets. Okay. Um, um, let me get a plate for the other one. I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this seven, is a hazard in my 12, kitchen. 13, did this? Hey, Lisa. 19, 20, 30 or 20 jumping jacks. English muffin, crusty English muffin. While it's still warm. Okay, I think we're good. We're going to let the butter melt down so we get those nooks and crannies. Oh, yeah. smells good. So hopefully y'all can see we got our melted butter in there. All right. Smells good? Yes. Okay, let's get your egg out. Everything smells good. Everything smells good? Well, at least in the kitchen. Unless you're burning something. That smells bad. What? Okay, that's okay. Just in my hand. So we have our two poached eggs. All right. So let's assemble English muffins. All right, let me separate. All right, what does the instruction say? Can you hold your plate? It's a little warm. Can you hold this? Are you okay? Hold it flat. Toast the English muffin. I got it. No, I got it. Top each side with a slice or two of Canadian bacon. So we got our Canadian bacon nice and toasted. Oh yeah, that's good. Silly. You want two slices? Wait, two slices on both? Yeah, do you want a slice on both? Two slices on both or no? No? Okay. Do you want it? I have more. Do you want it or not? Yes, if you have more. That's nice of you. All right. So let me show them what we have carefully. All right. So we got our English muffins with our bacon. I'm sorry. It's okay. Then a poached egg. Hold this. Uh oh. I know. Out. I got it on the paper towel. I'm gonna. Is that not hot for you? It is hot, but it's okay. You don't feel anything. I do feel it, but it's okay. I don't know if y'all can see. All right, hold this. And then, oh, we didn't, we're supposed to be poaching another egg. That's okay. I want to, um, I can poach more. Let me do it quickly. I want to get a picture before it gets delicious. It's already delicious. Before 
it. Right. Hello everyone, I have come with the message. Jesus died and you loved him. And you wiped your sins away. Please thank Jesus and accept it. Amen and amen. Okay, now, wash my hands. We got the other egg poaching. Like to set a timer for four minutes. Thank you. Top with the holiday sauce. I'll be, I'll be back. All right, let's see. Really so our holiday sauce, ooh, it got nice and thick. It's got a little skin on it. Let me. I'm going to taste it. Y'all. English muffin, Canadian bacon, poached egg. Mm, yes, that looks delicious. I'm going to put a little bit of chives on it. Don't wait. All right, hold this. Careful. Go ahead. Just for a pop of color. Where's I wish I had fresh sauce? chives, but I'm using the freeze dried. It's buttery, it's nice. Colors. Yes. Don't you touch it, I'm taking a picture. No. <laughs> yes on the chives. Nice. Okay, now hold it. Don't touch anything. I'm taking a picture. <laughs> Y'all see why I do this by myself? Careful. Let me put it on the table. Y'all, this is this is a cookbook photos. Land says, wow. Hold on. No, no, no. I don't need you jiggling in my pictures. No. You're going to eat. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. Well, that was my fault. I know. Just so you guys can see. So on Facebook said something. All right. So Alex, there you go. The taste test. All right, give them the feedback. Delicious. This tastes like what you would do if you're really fancy. And you wake up at five and you have school at seven. Mona, how is the hollandaise sauce? It's delicious. It's delicious? I'm gonna finish it. You're gonna finish it? Okay. If you wanna eat here, you can eat here. It's just time consuming, but it's beautiful and I can't wait to have mine on the cloud bread. Yes. Mm -hmm. I might need one of those pieces of bacon. Go ahead. How's the egg cooked? Oh my God. You know you can use a knife and a fork. Can I see the poached egg? Ooh. Ah. Put it on the plate. <laughs> no, oh. no, get the... Um... Sell apart a little bit, but if you like a nice runny yolk, here you go, babe. All right, egg is still cooking. What is your brother doing? Asleep. Are you sure? Pretty, pretty much. Should I go get the swimmer? He's not screaming or banging on the walls or listening. Ah, to they want to see my version. Okay. I'm excited. All right. Mm. It's good. Mm. Okay. All right. So my
my version. Y'all know I'm doing, he said fancy at 5 a.m. Y'all know. Okay, so I made cloud bread because I can't have gluten. Alex is eating on an English muffin in case anybody popped in. One is gone. We've got an English muffin, buttered Canadian bacon, poached egg, hollandaise sauce. Yes, you can have it back. Okay, pictures will go on the community tab. I'm poaching my egg. I got the hollandaise sauce. All right, so let me make one on the cloud bread. I'm nervous. Thank you, Jess. Do you want any silverware? Too late. Too late. All right. I'm nervous about this cloud bread, but so far so good. Okay. Just want a little bit of a brown on the Canadian bacon. I think we can put the butter away. Can we see your plate? So much for the chat and chow. Yes, you can tell. Apron is an adult bib. Apron is not an adult bib. Okay. Did you set the timer or no? no. Let's see how my egg is doing. Alex is not cooperating. All right. All right, let me take this egg out. That was good? Delicious. It was delicious. I'm so glad you like it. It's hard to see on the paper towel. We got a little foam on top. They say that's normal. All right. I'm going to um, poach another egg. Y'all, this is excellent. It's just time consuming, but it's beautiful. I can't wait for mine. Okay, so again, we've got a pot of simmering water here. It's still got a little bit of foam in there, but that's okay. I'm on the cooktop. So to poach the eggs, we're cracking the egg into a measuring cup. Once again, notice how I am alone. I'm alone. I'm standing in the background. We'll listen again until the next one's done. Till the next one's done. Do you want some more English muffin, just like butter? Yes, Do you want to try my Marion jelly? Yes, please. Okay. Hey, what's Marion jelly? It's some of my Mother's Day jelly. Do you want to try it? A little bit. Okay. I'll make you another English muffin. I'll so we have cracked the egg into the measuring cup, yeah, and then you're pouring it slowly into the simmering water, very close, very close to the pot, so that you don't want to just crack it and let it splat. That's how you get stuff everywhere. So you literally just let it bloop into the pot and cook slow. What are we doing? Bacon's starting to burn. All right, just turn off the stove. Separate it. Don't let it sit on top of each other. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just turn it off. Just turn it off. All right, so I'm making another buttery English muffin for Alex. Hope you like your crispy bacon. It's fine. Thank you. Really? That was good. You got two fresh? No, they're, yeah. Toss them in the yard, yard, yard. Why in the yard? In the bushes. Yard, yard. Why in the yard? Exactly. So this Hi. came in my Mother's Day box, Marion Berry. I'd never heard of it. It's a fancy blackberry. So, of course, Alex is still hungry. So I've got a nice toasted English muffin with butter on it. I probably could put some more butter on it for him. A little bit. Gotta feed the boys, that's all they do is eat. I'm a boy mom times two. I'll get the other one, maybe. <laughs> if
If y'all have been here this week with me, you have seen Marcus, the swimmer. All right. I'm just putting a little bit of Lando Lakes, regular butter for the kids. All right. So that'll melt down, give you that nice nooks and crannies action. All right. And then going to put some, um, oh, I need to plug you up. Thank you. Uh-oh. 10% y'all. Can you bring me my big brick? Just a little bit. Just a little bit? Just a little teensy weensy bit. I'll put that on both. No, just... If I like it, I'll ask for more. Ah, if you like it, you'll ask for more. That's smart. Um, what you do? I'll, I'll take care of it. All right, so just a buttered English muffin with Mary Berry. Oh, oh it's hot, I'm sorry. All right, I gotta plug y'all up. I hear- Speechless. Speechless is good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I hear hooves. Okay, egg is poaching. Do you want some more blackberry jelly? Okay, do you need another English muffin or you're good? There's more? Yes, there's more. Mm. Do you want more? No, I really like bread and pasta. So we have to watch that. Oh, you haven't seen the other one. 12. All right, so for them, Thomas's English muffins. Looks in crannies. Is it crispy? Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna toast it for him. Mm. Really? All right, everybody's waiting on my cloud bread. See, this is why I prefer doing it when I'm alone. Hello, we're I doing the Maggie Dan. Okay, let's see how my poached egg is looking. A little soft, let it simmer slow. Whew. All right. I'm sensitive to gluten, so I can't have the English muffins. I made cloud bread. Let's see how it comes off the parchment paper. I don't like how it's coming off. See, that's the thing about some of these. That's the thing about some of these recipes. It's like, I don't know where you're supposed to spray it. It's starting to crumble. I'm upset. I'm having a hard time getting it off of the part. I can help. No. Do it on that one. Okay. Yeah, bring a spatula. See, that's the thing about some of those social media. Hello, Suzette Speaks. Alex, come say hello to Miss Suzette. It wasn't me. Gonna try and get it up. That's the thing about some of these social media recipes. They don't tell you like if they sprayed it. I'm very upset. So my cloud bread is crumbling. I know, cloud, like a cloud. <laughs> They clowned her. I'll show you guys what I'm trying to eat. Let me turn this off. I'm frustrated. It's okay. Keto cloud bread is so good and only 0.2 net carbs per slice. So you're going to take three eggs divided, put the egg whites into your mixing bowl with a little bit of cream of tartar, whip that up, 
until you get stiff peaks, transfer it to another bowl, add the yolks back into the mixer with three tablespoons of softened cream cheese and a little bit of salt. Mix that together. You're going to fold those two together, put them in the oven at 300 for 25 to 35 minutes until they're lightly brown. Enjoy! Keto classic. See? But I can't get it up off of the... <gasps> Mine is not coming off, and I don't know, I didn't spray. Don't get too mad, Mom. Don't let this ruin your life. So I'm just gonna have to eat mine with a knife and fork. Can you uh, hold my plate? All right. So my cloud, like the clouds, airy, because it's uh, egg whites. So this is my cloud bread, my English muffin substitute. It's uh, sticking to the parchment paper. It's not coming up clean, so it's kind of crumbling on me. So I'm frustrated about that. But you guys saw the one with the English muffin. So we're going to do it anyway. I'm going to take... Ugh. It tastes good. It's just not releasing well at all. Okay. That's okay. They say it doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad? Okay. Canadian bacon. <laughs> All right, poached egg. Do you want to straighten the bacon on this one? No, it's fine. Let me get a paper towel. Aww. I don't eat much, so I want to enjoy what I eat. It's okay. Poached egg, paper towel, hot. Do the mag I'm doing the Maggie dance. You're doing the Maggie dance? What is it? When the hands go up, when the food is good. Presentation's gonna be good anyway. Your English muffin is done. Yeah, it's really good. You have a plate still? Sure. I'm just letting that other one drain. Do you, um, we'll put real butter on Alex's English muffin. Let that melt down so we get the nooks and crannies while it's hot. Okay. Get my other poached egg. All right. Yeah, it's hot. Um, hollandaise sauce. It thickens up as you sit, so. And then. You want me to get the charge? No, I'll do it. Can you just hold the plate? Let y'all take a look at this. Thank you. A little bit of chives for color. These are just dried chives. All right. <laughs> that looks good. Hold on. Let me get the crumbs off the plate for presentation. You don't want this right here. It does look good and the cloud bread tastes good, but a um, little bit of a perfectionist. Do you have OCD? Aw, oh, thank you. Yes, I have OCD. All right, so you guys can see. So this is my Eggs Benedict on cloud bread, which is just egg and cream cheese, Canadian bacon. Um, poached egg. All right. Oh, let's get Alex's oh. nooks and crannies butter. Yeah. You want some more of the blackberry? Yes, please. A lot more this time. A lot more this time. But I'm going to take like, a picture and then I'm going to eat it. But don't like drown it. I won't drown it. I'm sharing my Mother's Day Marion Berry preserves. Hello, handsome. She can cook. I can cook. 
You're just saying that. I'm not. You eat everything, though. Yeah, and you cooked it, didn't you? Yeah, I cook it. So therefore, you can cook. Okay, I, I think I'm going to Miss Glow Girl. I got two more. That the cloud good. bread cooked up really well. It's just not separating from the parchment. So I'm going to make a couple more. Don't you worry. For a meal. It looks good. All right. So Alex's English muffins. Okay. So let me take my picture. Is it good? Let me go get your brother. No. That's your third. Don't be greedy. I don't know. The monster man wants to be me. All right. So see all can see. Now, mom finally gets to eat. Yay. So I'm going to eat it with a fork. Poached egg is beautiful. My other one looks like that. All right. Mmm. Flavor is really good. Just taking a picture of my nice poaching. I'm everything for the cookbook, right? All right, let me get a knife. It won't cut that bacon. Get a little bit of cloud bread. A little bit of Canadian bacon. So cloud bread. Canadian bacon, the egg. Oh. Uh, a chew and swallow. Don't talk with food in your mouth. Too big. Mmm. The lemon in the holiday sauce. I've done my part. Oh, now you leave me? Are you going to get your brother? Do you want me to? Yes. Okay. But I'm just the lemon serious. in the holiday sauce, the saltiness of the Canadian bacon. I'm not eating an English muffin, but I still get like a nice little crispy, uh, crunchy bread texture from the cloud bread, like from the clouds. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, y'all. A labor, but a labor of love. I'm sure it's great in the um, English muffin. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. It's good. More hooves. All right, let me poach some more eggs. You know how they get. Did you take a nap? All right, I'm making eggs Benedict. I'd like for you to try, please. Looks fancy? Yes, it looks. All right, sorry. I should have poached all the eggs, but if you give me a couple minutes, I'll let you know when it's ready. Yes, it looks like success. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was just frustrated about, I'm still going to eat that cloud bread, but you could do it just the cloud bread. I got to figure out how to get it to release well. 
So for Marcus, Thomas English Muffin. I got enough Canadian bacon for a proper one for him. We're gonna poach two more eggs and then we'll see what the swimmer has to say, but I'm gonna eat mine. We'll do a little Q&A cleanup and give you all your evening. Again, cracking the egg into the measuring cup or a ladle so you can lower it down into simmering water. Getting the water to simmer back because I turned everything off. How would you all eat the cloud bread? Just like with butter or butter and honey? You know what? I thought about that, Miles, and they don't say, but it's like, I wonder if I had peeled it off right when it came out. I'm really frustrated about that, but you know what? That's just a challenge to me. Tomorrow, I'm going to make cloud bread and see if I can get it off right when it comes out, because it's just eggs. So Leanne, I know you sent me that reel, but I cooked the cloud bread fine and let it cool, but it's stuck on my parchment paper, so I don't know what I did wrong. All right, water is simmering. Gonna lower our egg into here to poach. Wash my hands, but it's beautiful, y'all. The flavors, the presentation, mixing together. Ugh. Canadian bacon is done. Just got to poach. I'll go ahead and poach two eggs. Well, yeah. We'll do together. One kind of moved over to the side. So this will be it. How would you all eat the cloud bread? Just like buttered by itself as toast? Leanne, maybe you can take, if you're still on, take a look at that link that you sent me. See if there's anything in the comments. Did she spray her parchment paper? Did she take it out while it was hot? Why is mine sticking to the paper? I'm determined to get it right. In the meantime, number two is waiting on me. You're making your famous Philly cheesesteaks. <laughs> I'm poaching your eggs. It's almost done. Just takes like three more minutes. Okay, Miss Globe Girl, coming right up. Fluffy honey butter cloud bread. Mm. Mm -hmm. This egg is a little bit more done. The hollandaise sauce, little tricky technique, but if you can master it, it's excellent. I think y'all would really like this. Okay, I hear, I hear the horse play already. I'm gonna start yelling. Come here, stay down here. Nothing, I want you where I can see you. Ooh, what happened? No, I'm just making Marcus's poached eggs. Eggs. Yeah, he's getting two just like you had two or three or five. Two. Are you done? Done with what? I mean, you're done eating because once I feed your brother. Yep. Okay. Ah. 
me get his uh, nooks and crannies out. Is it good, Mom? It is good. I just wish my bread didn't crumble apart, but I'm not going to complain. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, let me have the last bite. I would do this again. I will do this again. I will master the cloud bread. I will master it. You will? I will master it. You will? I will. You can. You shall. You will. All done. Oh. Mm. Eggs are poached. I'm using the tip of the ladle just to kind of touch the top of the yolks to see if they're jiggly or they're, oh yeah, oh, they're good. Slotted spoon, paper towel. One poached egg. I know you can't see it. Ooh, that's hot. Let me butter his bread. All right, we're done. I'm trying to get the, let me just put the hollandaise sauce on here so it'll be. Oh, I can help you with that. You okay? All right, let's get Marcus's. English muffins. Right. So nice and toasted. So the recipe doesn't say butter them, but y'all know with English muffins, right? Gotta put the butter. So do it while it's warm, so it melts down nice. All right, put it. Just while I clean up. Oh, we said honey butter for me, right? So my recommendation, if you want to do this, go ahead and poach down all of your eggs, have them on paper towels, have your hollandaise sauce made and kept a little warm, not hot, but just warm enough to drizzle. And then just assemble, that would be better. All right, so we've got our nice, buttery English muffins. Oh, hashtag real life with boys. Canadian bacon. So I just pan fried it to give it a little bit of color. Also from my Mother's Day gifts. Then... 
poached egg that's been on a paper towel drying. And the other one. And then hollandaise sauce will thicken up as it sits. Hollandaise sauce, butter, lemon, egg yolk, salt, pepper, and then just a dusting of chives. Okay, Mona, thank you. Marcus? These are freeze dried chives. I tried to get fresh, but for a little pop of color. All right, so Marcus. Let us know. Can you take a bite? You need silverware? Ah. Yeah, it's on an English muffin. <laughs> Better than what I made. Really? Let me see how your egg got poached. How does it look? Excellent. Can I hold it up? Just put it on the plate for a second. Perfectly poached. How do you like the hollandaise sauce? The butter lemon egg sauce on top? So many words. <laughs> You like the lemon? Yeah. Oh, eh? Okay. All right, well, he doesn't care for the lemon, but I am going to make my, I poach like a pro. Thank you, Miles. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, let's see what I can do with my two pieces. So the cloud bread flavor is great. You can see it's literally like fluffy egg bread. But maybe because I didn't do this while it was warm. See if I can see how it's like stuck to my parchment. I'm just going to do this. Get in there with a the spatula. And that's what makes it crumble. But I got it up. So you can see the texture kind of looks like bread, kind of looks like a Maggie cake. Good flavor. Just wish it had a little bit more structure. But Honey and butter, here I come. All right. Since I'm plating something light color, I'm using a dark plate. So see what happened to it. I'll put that on the bottom. This one's a little bit more sturdy. I wish mine looked like her loaves. Okay. Um, goat's butter for me. Just 
the little pet. I'm going to try and smear carefully so it doesn't, I'll just, I'll microwave it for like 10 seconds. Get my honey substitute. What happened to you? Really? I didn't do anything. All right, so let's see if I can make some honey butter bread. You can hear it kind of crinkling because of the meringue. This is my honey substitute, the sucre and gold. You guys have seen it, sugar-free, but it gives you the honey experience. Amazon links are in the description. All done? No. Can you put your plate in the dishwasher? Let's try it. Let's see your plate. Cloud bread with honey butter. Mm. 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 Very good. Wish the texture would have held up like hers, but. Mm. Excellent. All right. I'm going to just scroll up and see if I miss anything. I have kept y'all long enough. The boys have eaten. So I need to start yelling the cleanup song. Mm. We're going to get this right, y'all. Leanne, I don't know if you figured out what she did to make it come off, but we'll try it tomorrow and pull it off while it's hot. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Leanne says you're making famous Philly cheesesteak tonight. Your best friend's oh, divorce, I'm sorry. That's what he requested. I don't understand why people celebrate, but okay. Do you? Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, me too. Me too, Tifa. We're gonna get it right though. That's what cooking is. It's not perfect every time. I've never made this before. Flavor is very good. I just gotta figure out how to get it off the pan as I scrape my plate. Mm. Hollandaise sauce was a hit. Just time consuming, but mm, cloud bread, you're right. Cloud, uh-huh, <laughs> uh -huh. thank you. Oh, thank you, Leanne. You said I knocked it out of the park. For the English muffins, y'all saw it. The boys had regular Thomas's English muffins, nooks and crannies. I always give them the regular stuff. I challenge myself with the substitutes. But I'm not the food police. I don't force people to eat the way I have to eat. Just scrolling back. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Man child approved for your husband. Yes, absolutely. Y'all know the boys will tell you if it's good. Or not, and me too. Aw. Okay, yes, so we'll see what tomorrow.
Okay, I don't know what happened, but I got kicked out of my own stream, so that is a sign. This is Marcus's plate. The uh, cloud bread was a hit in flavor, um, presentation, and the bread experience I gotta work on, but the eggs Benedict on English muffin, 10 out of 10, the kids loved it. So we'll see what we have tomorrow. The boys are with me, so Alex has said, he just came home from the boarding house. He says he's been dreaming about salmon, broccoli, and cauliflower mash. So that might be in our weekend future, but I will see you all tomorrow, hopefully twice. <sighs> Got a lot to clean up and, and turn in, but thank you all so much for being here. Thank you to my channel sponsors. You know who you are. I saw something come through on my phone while I was, you know, getting who knows what was happening, but thank you for the, um, the contributions, it's completely unexpected. I'm just so happy that you all are here. So I will let you have your evening. Thank you so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Me and the boys will be cooking something or I'll be cooking and they'll be eating. Y'all already know. All right, good night. Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube.